We don't shower a lot out no. here. <laughs> Today is our last day of visitors for the season. I'm happy that we've got the island to ourselves for a month, which is lovely. Um, but it's nice having visitors over because it's just the two of us out here. The two of us is Jen and her fellow warden, Sally Ray. Originally from Newcastle, this is Sally's third season on NOS. It is totally different. It's a bit of a slower way of life up here. I've probably got quite a few friends that probably do think it's a bit mental, but then they see like my really good Instagram posts because it's so beautiful here. They're here from April to September to help tourists keep an eye on the wildlife and make sure those two worlds rub along just fine. But they don't just work together on the island. They both live here too. Rabbits got in again. <sighs> I don't know how it's getting in. Maybe this end. It's the ultimate in sustainable living. It has to be. And there are days when you can't just go to the supermarket. So if there's nothing growing in the veg patch, Jen and Sally don't get their supper. Right, we'll we dig up some tatties. Yeah. Oh, look at that one. It's massive. Right, a couple of weans. It's all right. Yeah, not bad. It's got a sad end, though. <laughs> the reason we started growing stuff out here was just to try and reduce plastic waste. And also it meant that we had fresh stuff. And also having the tatties here in the autumn months when you can't get off as easily, it's a great backup source of food as well. Living like this, it's quite rewarding. I'd never grown vegetables before. And I remember first season when we grew tatties, when we pulled them up, we were basically both like screaming in delight because we were like very pleasantly yeah, surprised <laughs> that we'd managed to grow them. Home on the island is this 17th century crofter's house. Well, I'm not sure that's going to make much of a dinner. This is a truly off-grid existence. Water comes from a spring-fed well, there's no mains gas, and the only electricity comes from a solar panel. We don't have enough water or energy supply out here to run a washing machine, so we can't wash our clothes out here, so we'll take our dirty uh, laundry off. The shower out here is quite basic as well, so there's a nice shower that we can use at the office in Lerwick as well, so we don't shower a lot out no. here. <laughs> the sea provides a natural way to bathe when the shower runs dry. Jen and Sally's main job is to monitor the seabirds on one of the most important colonies in Shetland, recognised as one of the finest wildlife sites in Europe. But that's a job for tomorrow as it's time to signal the island is now closed to visitors for another season. So we're going to raise the flag to let people know that we're closed. This will stay up until we move off at the end of the month.